The city of Minneapolis is still reacting and absorbing this week's historic elections. For the first time, Ward 4, which includes part of North Minneapolis, is represented by a person of color. Philippe Cunningham is also the first openly transgender man elected to public office anywhere in the United States. The 30-year-old beat out incumbent city council president Barb Johnson, who had that seat for 20 years. Cunningham told our Nina Morney while his win is exciting, he's more eager to get to work. There were times when I just, it was hard for me because I just couldn't find my purpose in my voice because of the fact that I felt like, oh, the world just doesn't see me. Now, Philippe Cunningham's history-making win is in the national headlines. The thing is, is that I just kept going and I kept pushing through and I never lost hope. The Illinois-born 30-year-old won the fourth ward Minneapolis City Council seat against Barb Johnson, a 20-year incumbent whose mother also served on the city council. Me running for office is not in disrespect to her. It's out of love for our community. He says Johnson has offered her full support. Cunningham is the first person of color and transgender person to serve in this seat. When I landed in North Minneapolis, um, that was the first time that I was welcomed with open arms, seen as a person, just a neighbor, rather than a, a, set, a series of differences. As a top policy aide in Mayor Betsy Hodges office, Cunningham says he's ready to take on issues around police and community relations, racial equity and affordable housing. So that we are building a mixed income community um, that has been shown to not only help desegregate but also it lifts everybody up in the community, it helps break down that isolation, social and economic isolation. Like, wow, we just shook Minneapolis politics. With a full plate once he enters office, Cunningham's ready to use his platform to help others see the greatness in themselves. Just because other people can't see how special you are, that doesn't mean that you aren't special. The new city council will be sworn in in January. Cunningham is joined by another new city councilor, Andrea Jenkins, who is the first openly transgender black woman to serve in this role in the U.S. Amelia. All right, Nina, thank you.